you're watching this video, which means you are serious about learning languages. And maybe you've already learned some other languages besides the language I want to teach you, which is Chinese. Most of the time, you can directly translate words from one language, for instance, English, into another language. For instance, a sentence like I want to drink water in Chinese would be 我想喝水 I want to drink water That is a direct translation But that is not always possible with words or with sentences One example that directly comes to mind is Chinese or Taiwanese family members Now, if you are a member of a Taiwanese family like I am, you might be familiar with the words they use to address family members. In English and perhaps other Western languages and cultures, you use a few words to describe family members, like an uncle, if he's your father's brother, or another relationship with you, it's all uncle. You might say, I don't know, maybe great uncle or something like that. But usually it's just uncle or aunt or brother or sister. In China and Taiwan, that is not the case. You have an ai, you have an ima, you have a dai ima, you have a gugu, xiao gugu, da gugu. You have in Taiwan, akim, you have uh, idiu, uh, which in Chinese is uh, yizang. You have different terms for the family members and their standing in the family. Now this video is not going to be about family members because that is another video in itself. The point I want to make is that for some things you cannot directly translate the English word into the Chinese word and vice versa. Now what I do want to talk about is the word where. And why do I choose this word where? Well, it's because when I was still learning Chinese and I went to Taiwan, I made lots of mistakes with that. Because for me, whether you wear a hat or you wear trousers, you wear a jumper, you wear socks, for me, it's all where. Not so in Chinese. I'll show you. So, what are the different words to use for the English word where? Let's start with items of clothing. Clothing in Chinese is yi fu, yi fu, and for that you use chuan, chuan, first tone. Now, to wear clothes is chuan yi fu, chuan yi fu, be aware, yi fu, is everything above the waist. So a jumper, a t-shirt, a button shirt, a blouse, big girl's blouse. Those are all yi fu. Below is ku zi. Okay. And ku zi means trousers or pants. So to wear a jumper would be Tuan Mao Yi. Mao Yi is a jumper. Tuan Chen San. Chen San is a shirt, a button shirt. Tuan Duan Xiu De. To wear something short sleeve. Xiu Zi is a sleeve. Below the waist, Ku Zi. Ku Zi is trousers or pants. Ku Zi. Duan ku is short, short pants, short trousers. Chuan duan ku. If the weather is hot, you wear short. Nei ku. Inner trousers. So, underwear, underpants. Wa zi. Chuan wa zi means to wear socks. 穿鞋子, 穿鞋子 means to wear shoes. So all those things are 
items of clothing that you wear on your body. So we use 穿 What about a hat? If I wear a hat, you can't say 穿帽子 That is one of the mistakes I make lots of times, and always got corrected, and I always forgot until I didn't. So it's 戴 a hat. You cannot use 穿 but you use 戴戴帽子 to wear a hat. What other things go with 戴 For the past few years, we all had to wear something on our face to make sure that. You didn't get sick, but also other people also didn't fall ill. So that is 口罩口罩 is a face mask or nose and mouth mask, surgical mask. 戴口罩 means to wear a mask. Another thing that uses 戴 is 手套手套 and 手套 is glove. Shou is hand, tao is a jacket or a cover of something. So, a hand cover, shou tao. Another thing that you wear and also has tao is, 保险套保险 means insurance. Tao is the jacket or the cover, a sleeve. So, a sleeve for insurance. Can you guess what it is? You follow the Chinese logic. A 保险套 is a condom. So it's something that you wear to make sure that something doesn't happen. 保险套 also abbreviated to 套子 If you meet someone and the time is right, but you want to play it safe, you can ask. 你有没有戴套子？你有没有戴套子 ？Means have you brought a condom? But this 戴 is a different character, so same pronunciation, which can be confusing. So you have 戴 for bring, and you have 戴 for to wear. So 我有戴帽子 can also be translated as I have brought a hat with me. Doesn't mean I'm wearing it, but it can be in my bag for me to wear it later. So, two different characters, same pronunciation. But as with a lot of things, context is important. If people are in a special line of business, or it is Friday the thirteenth, you have to wear a mask that covers your whole face, which is not 口罩 that's a full face mask. So. 戴面具 means to wear a face mask, a mask that covers your whole face. Chainsaw not included. Then some people wear earrings. Earrings are 耳环 So 戴耳环戴耳环 means to wear an earring or earrings. Thank you for watching the video. And also, thank you for giving a like and also a subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm over a hundred subscribers now, which is really great. Of course, I would like the channel to grow even more and help more people with their Chinese and introduce more people to the beauty of the Chinese language and the Chinese culture. Practice what you've learned just now, and 继续加油。